Hi, and I'm your head chef, Darren Barr, and this is my show, Making It With Darren. Today, we're going to do monkey bread, also known as cinnamon sugar pull-apart bread. Um, this is a great fun food for breakfast or brunch or anything like that. It's a little heavy, but it's really fun. It tastes amazing, and you're not going to be able to stop from eating it all, so be careful. Anyway, so what we're going to start with is we've got some biscuit dough, pre-canned, easy, simple, cheap biscuit dough, okay? We've got this and we've cut them in half in pieces on our plate here. We've melted a couple, uh, um, a couple sticks of butter here, and then we've got some white sugar and some brown sugar. We actually have a cup of each. Um, we're going to add this into our bowl, just with the white sugar, and then the brown sugar. This is just a golden brown sugar. It doesn't have to be dark brown, but either one will work. Okay. And when I do brown sugar, I like having it in the bag because I can reseal it and it stays really fresh. It's a lot easier than those boxes where after like two days, it's hard as a brick. Okay. We're just going to lightly mix this in. You know, and one really important ingredient, and I don't have it out here, I'm going to grab it really quick, is the cinnamon. And I know I've got some cinnamon in here, fresh ground cinnamon. And we're probably going to add about, oh, I'd say two tablespoons worth, something like that. Okay, we're going to give this a nice, good mix and a stir, guys. All right, this looks pretty incorporated here. So now we're going to start the fun part. This is a little messy, so if you need a towel on hand, so be it. We've got our nice, dark bunt pan and our cut biscuit dough. So we're gonna just grab a handful of these and dunk these in the butter. Just mix these up. It doesn't have to be pretty. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just toss these and make sure each one is nice and coated in cinnamon and sugar. And we're gonna go ahead and put these pieces just straight into our bun pan. It doesn't need to be greased. Um, the cinnamon and sugar is gonna kind of like melt and turn into like its own little lubricant there and it's going to be amazing. So I remember back in the day, Greg, do you remember when we made this? And we had like two or three of these things. So sick afterwards. It was so good. It will make you ill. Oh man, we had the biggest smiles on our face all day long. It was Hell amazing. Yeah. yeah, you remember that too, huh? <laughs> oh man. And what's cool about this, you don't have to fill the bunt pan all the way to the top. So this is only about three of these cans cut up. These things rise, okay? These are like self-rising biscuit. So uh, so definitely don't think that it has to be full or else you're going to have something like three times the size of the pan that it's in. So we're going to keep just stocking these up. And, you know, if you run out of ingredients, if for some reason you're using more sugar than I'm using or more butter or whatnot, that's totally fine. Just reload. This is not an exact science. Um, you know, this is a cool part to have your kids do, you know? They love getting their hands messy. All right, so we went ahead and finished off the rest of our biscuit dough and put it in our bun pan. You can see how it's just about like halfway up. This is totally gonna rise. Um, all the leftover cinnamon sugar I just dumped on top, it's all gonna caramelize and really make it gooey and rich. Um, and that's really the best part. So uh, I got my oven preset for 375. We're gonna go ahead and put this baby in and I'm gonna check on it in about 25 minutes and see how it's doing. Um, like we were talking about before, this is a black bunt pan. So if you guys don't have a bunt pan at home and you have, you know, big cupcake tins, you can try it in that. The time is going to vary depending on what type of, uh, you know, cookware you're using. But, uh, you know, kind of eyeball it. When you see that it's nice and golden brown on top, you're going to check it out and we'll go from there. All right, so this baby's going in. Hey, guys, we're back. It's been about 25 minutes and... Uh, this is ready to go. This has been sitting for about five minutes on my stove. The way we can tell it was done is because it's nice and firm on top. It doesn't have too much give, and it's still going to be nice and gooey. Um, we're only letting it sit for about five minutes. It's still going to be hot because we want all those juices to still be rolling around at the bottom. So we've got our nice serving dish here. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to attempt to flip this. Just like that. We're going to give it a second. And... Let's see here if we can make this happen here. Come on, guys. There we go. And uh, that's that. So why don't you guys give this a try? Let me know what you think. Um, I'd love to hear your response on this. All right, guys. Bon appetit.